Jack? <laughs> it's turning. Oh my god, he's a late dog. Oh my god, he's going so quick. <laughs> oh, he's scared, he's scared. No, I'm not doing that, sorry. All right, basically, I want to mess about with Summon again because I just think Summon is just an incredible part of this car. So we're going to do a lot of tests. I've invited two of my friends to join me. And basically, I'm going to see if they're in the way of the car and I'm using autopilot, will it stop? When I'm using Summon, will they stop? When I'm using Smart Summon, will it avoid them and go around them? Lots of things. But the very first thing that I want to do is just see if the two little humans pop up on the map because I love seeing things pop up on this little map. So I'm now going to head towards them. Oh, a little human popped up for a second. Wait for it. Any humans? There was a human for a second. Oh, bloody hell. What's... <laughs> Does he want to get right over? I'm going to squeeze through because we've not had any humans. I'll try it from further away. Oh, did you see them just for a second? Right, let's have another go. There we go. We've got one human. Where's the second human? Could you try walking about? Just have a little walk about. All right, they're having a good walkabout, and let's see some humans have a little walkabout. This is going to be great. Okay, Crownie's popped up. They walk closer. Oh, bloody <laughs> not right. <laughs> okay, that's test one, which, not bad, could have been better. I would have liked to see two humans perfectly, like there was in real life, but I think the next thing we should try is just driving straight towards them with summon on, and we'll see if the car stops or if it goes straight into them. I'm pretty confident that it is just going to stop, though. Right, I'm going to use Summon, okay? Oh, God. Are we standing beside the car? Um, maybe I'll just have one of you. If you want to just go in the middle, Mini. I want to go in the middle, okay. You go where you like, Crowdy. So Summon, just in case you've not seen our previous video, it allows you to move the car from your phone. And we worked out in the last video that it does actually work when you are in the car. So I'm about to press forward, and the car should start just heading towards Mini. So let's see if he stops. Now, I think it limits it to one mile an hour. So it's not stopped yet. We're getting closer. Oh. It's going around him, which I didn't realize it did when you're not using Smart Summon. God, it's really close. No, it's fine. Is it? Yeah, it's going in. So it's going around him, but it is narrowly avoiding him. So I'm wondering, will it correct and go back to its original position now? Or is it just going to keep us going forward into that car? Yeah, that's weird. That's weird that it would turn rather than just stop. I'm going to try that again because that was a bit weird. I'm just going to go forward and we'll see if it once again curves around him. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just holding down forward. This is regular summon as opposed to smart summon, which is basically only meant to go forwards and backwards. Oh, different. Okay, it's stopped. It's basically said it can't go because we are 19 inches away. And then it's aborted the summon, which is just a completely different reaction to the previous test. Let's get him to stand behind me and we'll reverse into him. We'll see if it does the same thing. Can you go behind? This is kind of like halfway. <laughs> right, Minnie's behind us, as we can show on that camera. I'm going to go forward a little bit so that we can get a bit more of a run-up. And now we'll go into reverse. So hold down reverse, mirrors fold in. Let's see if it tries to avoid Minnie, or let's see if it just stops like the previous test. Oh, we're coming in. Oh, we're getting quite close. <laughs> so the beeps are, are showing that uh, it doesn't want to go any further. Yeah, it's aborted. It's rather close, now. <laughs> Right, Vinny. Yeah. We're gonna try smart summon. So, can you and Crowny please just plunk yourself in the way over there? In the way. Just kind of in the way, a bit further down, in different locations. Uh, I'll cut Vinny. <laughs> so, if I go on to smart summon, it allows me to set a specific destination in mind, and then you just hold this down, and the car will start driving to it. So, I just want to see how it gets on avoiding these two. So I'm, I'm hoping it's going to squeeze through the middle, which it seems to be doing a pretty good job of. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, interesting. We've broke very heavily. It says waiting for pedestrian, which is interesting. And, uh... There we go, it got through them pretty successfully, to be fair. So now it's uh, maximum distance reached. Basically, the EU limits you to 20 meters. That didn't feel like 20 meters, to be honest. Basically, all I need to do is just start driving again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line myself up so that I'm right in the way of Mini. Got quite some speed. You can't rotate, so it's always a bit difficult to work out where it wants to go. Press to hold and start. So obviously, it's going to have to reverse. And now is it just going to squeeze past him? Says waiting for pedestrian. 
Oh, Cranny's throwing a bit of a curveball in. Oh, so it's stopped because it's like, what's that fella up to? We've had very little movement for a little while now. Okay, it's going for it. It's getting close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready with the brake just in case things kick off. Waiting for pedestrian. Oh, I would not expect it to go this way. Okay, it's curved round. Um, to be fair, I'd say that's pretty good. So obviously this would work if I wasn't in the car, which I think we should do for the next test. Let's get out the car and we'll do the same again. Right, same again from outside the vehicle. I've got people dotted about all over. So I'm just gonna start summoning. So I have to be about within three meters of the car with current EU law. So it wants me to get a bit closer. So I just have to go with it. Uh, it says maximum distance is being traveled. So I just need to... Hello? <laughs> car? <laughs> There we are, no problem. <laughs> right, so if I can drive forward and then stop again, that counts as driving and it resets the maximum distance. Right, I'm confidently pointing the car towards the lane. Meaning it's right in the middle. Oh, it's coming for you! Oh, it's coming for you! <laughs> Keep saying waiting for Bone to come back in range. It needs you to go really close. God, we're going quick. I need a bit of a jog on. Waiting for path to clear. Hey, I say you jump out in front of it and we see what happens. Yeah. Go on. Right, just go on, run in front of it. I'll do a little jump this time, I think. Right, I'm going to send the car over that way, and let's just let people run in front of it. Whenever you're ready, mate. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's easy, it's easy. Go on, absolutely come out of nowhere, put a fly by, you know what I mean? Here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Go on, one more time, one more time. <laughs> Little leg. It says waiting for pedestrian, waiting for Patrick to play it. And now someone complete. It smashed that to be fair. So it's a little bit windy, so I think it's better for the video for us to stay nice and warm in the car. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the car on autopilot, providing it's safe to do so. And I'm just going to get Mini to stand in the middle of the road. So autopilot only works on roads with lanes like this one. I'm going to stand in the middle of this road and see if uh, the car hits me. It's a main road. Brilliant news. So I want to lower the autopilot speed as well. So I do this, and I'm going to lower it way down, so it sees the pedestrian in the road. So it sees the pedestrian beautifully. Alright, move on to the other side of the road if you can. There's a wagon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, that was impressive. Yeah, that was exactly what I was after. I say we could probably do that one more time. So obviously we're doing this on a nice, quiet, safe road. There's currently a train that's blocking any traffic from coming down. I'm not going to limit the speed, <laughs> which is going to be a little bit scary. But Minnie's stood in the middle of the road. There is no traffic. I'm really scared. I'm very, very ready with the brake. Oh my god, he's laid down. Oh my god, he's going so quick. He's scared. I <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing that, sorry. No chance, he's going dead quick. <laughs> I'll come at you slower, I'll come at you slower. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, uh, I'm pretty confident the car would have stopped, but uh, probably not worth risking. Maybe if we had a million subscribers as opposed to 100,000. Okay, he's sat in the middle of the road. Okay, so as soon as that pops up, we can do this. Maximum distance is 50, but you can see all the way from there, it sees that there's somebody in the road. Right, it's stopped. It's just waiting for him. Crowdy, can you like walk about? I want to see if you show up. Oh, there we go, there we go. Everything I've ever dreamed of. My two pedestrians popped up briefly. All right, clear the road. So we're not touching anything. And it sets off again. 
it did that absolutely beautifully and it's gonna go all the way up to 50 miles an hour as well so that was absolutely spot on that let's see when it stops here as well because this feels quite scary we're coming in pretty quick there we go so it breaks a lot harsher than a, a human would break that wasn't me i haven't done anything there but i'd say it nailed that that was all absolutely fine we're still on autopilot so as soon as these go up and that car moves then it will automatically take us back up anyway we'll put the car back on autopilot I'm gonna limit the speed limit so we don't come at them quite as fast. So the speed limit's limited to 30, which is nice and slow. I've also got my foot on the brake. Mini is stood in the middle of the road. Seen him all the way from over there. That was a long distance away. And it has stopped with quite a lot of room. Look at the little fella, look at Mini. That's unbelievable. All right, apologies for the wind. We're gonna see if the car sees Mini when he's laid flat on the ground or not. You can stop it, can't you? What? Yeah. I can't hear it to be windy. So we just use a basic summon rather than smart summon, which is just the back and forwards. Here he comes. He's going at you. It's definitely been a lot more cautious. I don't think it can work you out. It does, it thinks I'm a bump jack. It's gonna drive over me. Oh, there's a group of people coming. <laughs> is that wrong? Yeah, he's avoiding you. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's, he's turning back in. Jack? 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 <laughs> it's turning. What's it doing? It's reversed, it's reversed. Oh my fine. god. Someone's complete. Well, it did a great job there. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty pleased with that. Mini has not been run over, nor has Crowny. Crowny's over in the background having a wee somewhere. But none of my friends got run over, and it did a great job at kind of stopping when it needed to. There was that one time where it was accelerating at great speed, but I do think it would have stopped, but there's no point in risking it when I can just take over. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what other weird little experiments are you doing. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Minnie's channel as well in the description. I risked my life for this All right, one. All right thanks, Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we try to upload twice a week on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. See you later.